Welcome to the era of AI. Welcome to this lecture in which I'm going to show you how you can design thumbnails with Leonardo Phoenix. But first of all, let's get right into it. So here, you see that we have a couple of thumbnails. So first off, let's have a look at this thumbnail, the king. And then we have another one, which is a similar one, except for it's a variation. And what do we have more? Another one here that says the king and another one here that says the king. Now, remember that inside of the YouTube uh, or inside of the Canva studio or the Canva magic studio, you can actually grab text from a design. Now, if you want me to show you, let's actually go forward. So for instance, let's take this, download this particular image. And one thing before we move, before we start generating a couple of thumbnails and have some fun is that these thumbnails are generated in two different styles. So this one at the top, the realistic one was generating using, using the preset style stock photo. This one at the bottom was actually generated with the preset style, which is cinematic. So pretty much when you change the style, you change almost everything. So it depends on which style you go for, you'll get a different result. And so different thumbnails need different styles. And we'll see more of that. Now, first of all, let's go here. And um, I'm just going to go to this particular project that we created the Mr. Beast thumbnails inside or inside of. And I just want to get rid of these pictures. And this is really interesting. So look at this. Um, this is very interesting. Uh, these are some thumbnails we generated earlier. So let me just remove all these pages. I don't need them. Come on, remove, remove. And what we need to do right now is to drag and drop the image of the lion. By the way, you could also use the Canva templates to generate thumbnails, but let me tell you something. I don't really like them one bit. Now I'm going to click this one right here. I'm going to set the image to the background. And of course you can edit this image, add filters, but I'm going to take you directly to the magic studio. And here you can use the magic te or the, the grab text, which is going to detect the text in this image. It's going to allow you to grab it. Now, of course, this doesn't guarantee that it will keep the same font that was used right here, but it will absolutely grab the text outside of the picture, not affecting the quality. So you can see that the lion is, we can still see, so it has replaced that area uh, perfectly and it has done this. So now, of course, you can make this bigger. You can actually split by cutting and then king here for instance, and probably you can go for king effects, use the this effect and then duplicate and place the at the top, but you can take the and reduce it in terms of the size and do something like this. And so not only can you create thumbnails with Leonardo Phoenix, but if there, if in case there is a mistake with, with text, you can edit it. So you can change, you can correct mistakes. Now I've been actually using Leonardo Phoenix to do all kinds of things. And you can see what I, I can do with it. Uh, recently, we have just started uh, a campaign on ClickBank. And I can show you the page which we have created just to give you some motivation. Now, I've just created that recently. So it's Sophia Gold 1974. And I'm just going to, I'm posting regularly, um, uh, I'm, I'm, we're going to post regularly 20, 20 pins per day, uh, and then just use this profile to launch some ads for some ClickBank products. By the way, everything here is AI. The picture is AI generated. And these pins, they are generated using Leonardo Phoenix. All right. So you can see here, this is what this pin looks like. And there is pretty much a lot of very interesting pins right here that I created also using Leonardo Phoenix. So pretty much this tool is, is magnificent. And of course, I'm going to use this tool to help me scale my online business. Now, of course, in this, in this case, we're using it to generate YouTube thumbnails. The size I'm going to, I'm setting this up to 16 by nine inches. And so without further ado, let's get right into it. And I already generated the thumbnail a close up of a short uh, of a lion da 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 but this time instead of that i'm going to generate a different thumbnail so first off let me just drag this up here and second i'm going to say a close up shot of a lion fighting or fighting 
a tiger in the wild with a blurred background of the savanna and text and text that says instead of saying the king we can say the king versus the emperor you know something like this you know these these thumbnails are quite catchy because people like them now this time i'm not going to be using neither stock photo neither cinematic i'm going to be using creative because creative is going to bring something interesting you know something artistic because this is what we need right so if i click generate of course you can try different preset styles doesn't matter you can try the style the, the cinematic style you can try any style but just in my opinion in this case i'm going to use this style now the second thumbnail is a person covered in mud da, da, da. so right now at this stage i'm just going to be copy pasting prompts right onto leonardo because we want to try as many of them as possible. And of course, I'm going to set this to two images per uh, per generation because I want to reduce the consumption and uh, or the consumption of credits. And here, in terms of the style this time, I'm going to use cinematic because this is um, this is movie-like, right? So this is almost like a movie. So this prompt this time, I'm going to use the cinematic style. Then we have a prompt for a gaming channel, an intense battle scene from a popular game like Fortnite, with the player character that uh, okay so this one also we're going to use the creative preset so first of all go back into leonardo and then you can go ahead over here you can paste and paste your prompt right up but you can go to the style here and you can change it to creative and you can see that you know we have some you know images here generally that were generated first of all let me just set this to creative leave it to work in the background then i can get give a proper look to the thumbnails right here so once this is set up you can see that we have some very interesting or a very interesting picture of a fight between a lion and a tiger and you can see it says the king versus the emperor all right so you can see right here that you know this this is the stuff that people are absolutely gonna gonna stop and you know just look at and you can see that the font is written in a great, great font. And you can see here we have the other variation. So they not only do they give you one, they give you multiple variations, which you can actually take with you and use. So depending on which one you choose. In my case, I think that uh, the first one is pretty good. The king versus the emperor. Mm, on second thought, I think this one is better. Because this one, if you notice... There is drama to it because the tiger looks like he's having the upper hand. By the way, this looks like a Bengal tiger because normally the lion, the tiger is much bigger. Not the, I think it has a Bengal tiger because normally the other, the Siberian tiger, is much bigger than the Bengal. Uh, but here, notice that we have some, you know, some other thumbnails. I'm not sure if I can show this. Yeah, I can show it because they've hidden the lower body. And you can see here what the thumbnail actually looks like. And so you can go with whichever one of them you feel is good. Now, this one says survived. And here we have another thumbnail. This one is Fortnite-like victory. And you can see that it looks like Fortnite. Uh, I'm not a big Fortnite player, but of course, let's say you want to create a, a uh, thumbnail about Fortnite. Worry not, because now you can generate awesome thumbnails just like that. Now, here we have another idea of a thumbnail, which is th this is an Explorer channel. Now, since this is an Explorer channel, we're going to go back to the image generation tool. And we're basically going to go right up here and click paste. But we're going to go instead of creative, we're going to go with cinematic. Because obviously, this one is more like a movie. And I'll leave it to do the work. And then we have another thumbnail, conspiracy channel. Da -da -da. Okay. So for conspiracy channel, I'm going to be a little bit more creative so i'm gonna go right up here and then just use the creative and of course there's the fashion there's graphic designer pop art there's all kinds of of presets right there depending on what you'd like to achieve with the thumbnail what design you want to create so here this is a hidden mystery channel this one as well i'm just going to be generating the thumbnail with this prompt so let's come back right here let's double click and then let's just paste this in and you can see what this looks like. This one, I'm going to use the cinematic effect. And see right here, we have 
you know, this thumbnail has came out, came out, you know, it was generated, Lost World. And this is amazing, you know, because of course, we didn't do anything. We just copy paste to the prompt. And that's pretty much how you do it. You just describe your design to the, to the Midjourney or to the Leonardo Phoenix tool. You describe the text that you want to be in that thumbnail. And it goes on and just basically does what you ask it to do. So this is really interesting. Now, let me go, go forward right here and download this one. Now there's a zombie channel. Interesting. I'm going to keep the cinematic effect. Not sure if any of you watched The Walking Dead, but my brother watches it. And uh, he just tells me about it all the time. Now let's go ahead and click paste on this one. And see, this is also another thumbnail. So um, this one here, I'm probably going to go with this one instead. It says secret found. There is a book. And you know, this is these are the kind of thumbnails that really catch attention. Though this possibly we can make it better. Of course, remember that you can take your thumbnails back onto Canva to add some filters to them if you want to. And then here we have some other uh, some other thumbnails. You know, this one says truth, truth here, but I'm going to be going with this one because it's more, it, it's clearer. And then here we have, this one is about a Harry Potter fan channel, right? A wand emitting sparks. Of course, all of this is just meant to show you the ability of this tool. So I could be a little bit more creative. And of course, you don't need to use the prompts I use. You, you can use anything and just imagine anything, any video you want to create, describe a thumbnail for that video or use AI to help you. So here we have a zombie uh, YouTube channel um, thumbnail. And uh, yeah, this sure does look like a zombie. And you can see it says escape. And this is really good, you know? So if you have a maybe a movie recap channel or a horror channel, then you can use these thumbnails to boost your channel. Now, what do we have more? We have uh, a Lord of the Rings uh, fan channel. So we can generate thumbnail for that one as well. You see that I didn't change the cinematic uh, preset because for all these thumbnails right here, I don't need to because it seems like these, thumb these thumbnails are exactly movie-like. And for this one, this is a mukbang. So it's a mukbang channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this uh, preset to stock photo because I want realism. So I'm going to scroll down. I want to favor realism instead of everything else or anything else. And I can paste this right up here and generate. And you can see that it has generated a uh, or thumbnails that are Harry Potter-like. This one is cool, but the other one is cooler because you're going to notice that even the font that it uses is, is some kind of a magic world, Harry Potter like font, right? So check it out. This is really interesting. And imagine if you get more creative, imagine if you ask it more creative things, like you ask it, create a thumbnail with Harry Potter and Hermione and Ron holding, you know, some secret wands, you know, with, uh, some creature in the back with text that says, uh, the secret of Dumbledore or something like this. So just imagine if something and this tool will draw it for you. Okay. You could say something like Harry Potter style thumbnail to just add that as well. <laughs> and the Lord of the Rings, one of my favorite, actually, I think it's my favorite movie. And you can see here, uh, this is a thumbnail for the Lord of the Rings. I'm not sure which hand this is or which hand is holding the ring here. It couldn't be other than Smeagol, but you can see how interesting this looks, you know, and we have another variation. <laughs> Maybe this is Smeagol. Uh, he was contemplating throwing the ring and you can see it says the journey and I like it. And of course, finally, we have this thumbnail of a mukbang, sea feast. Uh, in case, for example, you want to create a YouTube video to, you know, make people want to click. And of course, you can say something like a table overflowing with various, da, 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 da. and you can say something like a hungry person devouring food on a table overflowing and just adding that to the uh, thumbnail will change everything. And by the way, when it comes to the text, you can even go as far as, as telling it precisely where you want to place the text on the spectrum. So if you want to place the text on the right hand side, you can say minimal text on the right hand side, right? That 
is going to be understood by the tool. Trust me, I'm telling from experience. So now this is the final thumbnail that we're going to have to go and have a look at before wrapping up. There you go. So here we have a uh, particular thumbnail. These are uh, pretty much uh, thumbnails that you could expect to see on mukbang channels. And you can see here that we have some very interesting thumbnails. I don't like this one so much because there's a glitch and they changed the hand to a lobster hand or lobster, lobster, what do they call that? Uh, clamps maybe. But you see this one here is a little bit more realistic and easier to, easier to believe. And it looks wonderful. So I hope that you've enjoyed this so far. I think this was some very interesting tutorial. Or what do you think? Let me know in the Q&A what you think about this tool because I can't live with it after I found out about Leonardo Phoenix. I can't live without it after I found out about Leonardo Phoenix. And I think once you do as well, if you're doing digital marketing, whatever activity you're doing, this tool can be life-changing. So pretty much this is it. Hoping that we are delivering on our promise when you took this course. Wishing you the best as always. Passive Income Gen Z signing out. <laughs>